Hi, I'm Donna Henderson, a founder and current board member of Airly Press. I'll be reading a selection from the debut collection of poems, Whereas, by Oglala Lakota poet, writer, feminist, artist, and activist, Laylee Long Soldier. Whereas was published by Grey Wolf Press in 2017 and was a National Book Award finalist that year. I picked up this collection in a bookstore about a year ago and have been reading and rereading these poems since. To enter whereas is to intimately enter the search for voice through a conversation with language itself. Here, in the context of the history of the U.S. government's intentional and explicit campaign to silence and erase indigenous peoples. The title, Whereas, responds to the cautiously phrased and quietly passed 2009 U.S. Congressional Apology to Native Peoples for the history of genocidal policies and actions the federal government has enacted against them. Joy Harjo, in writing about this collection, says, Whereas we are in a century still drenched in gunshot and longing, whereas these poems are the songs you need to make it through to the other side. The poems open with this passage. Now make room in the mouth for grasses, grasses, grasses. Listen now to the first poem in the middle section collectively entitled Whereas Statements, a sequence of 20 poems in response to the government's official apology. Whereas, when offered an apology, I watch each movement, the shoulders high or folding, tilt of the head, both eyes down or straight through me. I listen for cracks in knuckles or in the word choice. What is it that I want to feel? And mind you, I feel from the senses. I read each muscle. I ask the strength of the gesture to move like a poem expectations, a terse arm fold, a failing noun thing I schooled myself in the mirror for holding. Because I learn from young poets, one sends me new work spotted with salt crystals she metaphors as her tears. I feel her phrases, I say and understand me and I wonder Pages are cavernous places, white at entrance, black in absorption, echo. If I'm transformed by language, I am often crouched in footnote or blazing in title. Where in the body do I begin?